Hello, this is Jeremiah Turner, and you are watching the Players Perspective Podcast. Today, we're here with Miles and Alex Schultz, two guys that are on the swim team here at Washington Baptist. So, to start off, guys, I want you to just tell us where you're from and give us a little history about how you are bringing. Yep, uh, I'm Miles Schultz. I'm from uh, North Dallas, specifically Melissa, Texas. Um, Melissa, Texas as well. Yeah. Alex Schultz from North, North Texas. Yeah, we've been swimming for, what, 15 years now? So, we have a little bit of time and. In the sport, you know, it's been swimming club for what, 14 years or 15, 15 14, 13, 13 years 13 now. Years club 13 years. Th- yeah, so long time here now for four years. We're seniors, so real excited for this season and the last one potentially. But we'll see. Gotcha. All right, so for the people at home that don't really understand how swimming works, I don't think it's more t- as like football or something where you have play a position. So just tell us a little bit about the events you are in and how those events work. Yeah, so we have uh, hundreds of every event. Well, well, there's four strokes, fly back, breast free. And then we have an event called IM or individual medley, and that's fly back, breast free in that order. So you swim all four uh, strokes. And then we also well, we have distances that change. We have 100 distance, 200 distance, 400 distance, 500, 1,000 in the mile. Um, it's not fun. Uh, but <laughs> And then for uh, we swim short course, so which is 25 yards. But then we also have long course swimming, and that's in a 50 meter pool. That's Olympic size, and then they swim the 800, so it's also not fun. But you know, there's a lot of different things. Uh, we, like you said, we don't have like plays. We swim our specific stroke that we you know focus on. So I specifically swim breaststroke. Um, I'm a I'm a sprint freestyle and sprint breaststroke. So like 50 free, 100 free, 100 breast, 100 fly sometimes, and yeah. all the relays. And I yeah I swim the 100 breast, two breast, 50 free, 100 fly. And then like the two medley relay, f- and then the four medley relay, and then sometimes the two free relay. So. Gotcha. Thank you for that. So I want to jump backwards just a little bit. So you said you guys have been swimming for about fifteen years. Mm-hmm. Now, how long have you been alive? How old are you guys? We're twenty-one. Twenty-one. Mm-hmm. So six years. The first six years of life, you didn't swim. So the, since then, you've been swimming. In that time, what would you say has either been, let's say, your favorite memory of all of the. 15 years, that's that's over 10,000 hours. You could be considered a pro, for sure. So in the, inside of all that time, what would you say was your favorite memory in the pool or outside of the pool, but with uh, the guys you've met over that time in your swimming career? You know, I personally, for me, you can't think of doing a sport that's the, or this long, or any sport really, it, it can't be, you know, a job. Um, you have to make it fun. So I think my favorite memories are just, you know, us at the pool just kind of dying with all of our friends, but we're still trying to have a good time, you know. Um, that's always the key. You know, we, we don't want it to be, and it, it needs to be a part of your life. It can't just be, a, you know, an aspect. We, I mean, it has, it's your it's your job in, in, a, in, a, in a way, but you still have to figure out where the fun, ha- where the fun has to be, so. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it really just comes from being around your friends. And uh, a lot of people look at sports and like, oh, I'm just gonna do this for like you know a certain amount of time and that's really it. But like it comes down to a point where like it's either like you accept it or you just like can quit the sport. So I like I feel like we definitely <laughs> accepted it and we really figured out like what swimming really is to us. It's more it's not really a sport anymore. It's more or less of like you know a lifestyle kind of yeah you know, sort of a lifestyle and just like you really are there to compete and be with your friends. Like it's a team sport now that we're in college rather than. An individual sport growing up on a, a club team so that's really the biggest thing that I have to say so it's not really necessarily an individual memory but uh it's more or less just like being there with your friends and making memories as you go on so got you I'm really glad you brought that up it's changed from more of a like you say you don't want to make it a job but it's a lifestyle so describe that transition of how it works when when you switch from high school to college how, how did it become a lifestyle because for a lot of guys they get to college and a lot of guys quit or a lot of guys stay in a program but kind of stay stagnant because it feels like it's something they have to do how do you make it into something that you enjoy doing yeah i mean it definitely starts in high school um we we only swam we swam high school um we swam 5a and 6a but um, we swam our freshman and sophomore year in high school, and then after that, we kind of designated our lives, our, our swimming career, to our club swimming. Um, but I think one of the ways that you know people can get past high school into college is like you have to have a solid foundation in high school and and club swimming. Um, so I think we're very fortunate with our coach. Like we had a great relationship with our coaches at home, and still do to this day. 
Um, but that kind of you know bridged our, our the next step to college because you're getting a whole new coach and you really have to like trust the process because it is like a, it is a learning curve. Right. Even though say you're at a certain level and you're really good, like you're going to an entire different training situation, tr- the entire different group. You know, you kind of have to relearn your friends because like we had we swam with the same guys on our club team for years. what six so years like at this since point? we moved to Texas yeah. about six years. So. You know, we knew them all so well, but then all of a sudden we're coming to this important environment being here, and now we're having to kind of relearn everything, which is also kind of fun. It's kind of gave us, like we like we were talking about, it was, it's a lifestyle. Like, it kind of restarted, like it got us more excited um, for what is to come because now these guys are now my best friends. So, awesome. And also like with uh, high school and like the, the training between high school and college, you know, with, with club, it's like the same thing every day. Like, Within college, it's very specific to you. Like you're there to race your events, like your style, and that's it. In club, it was just like you you're have trying to, to score maximum points. Have, yeah, you have to score maximum points. You have to hit every single aspect. So like, I am your stroke distance. Like you can be thrown in anything in, in a club meet, but with college, like dual meets, like you have to score on your events to score points for the team because it's spread out through the whole entire team rather than just a a club team where it's more individual. Yeah, we have 16 spots to score on our teams for like our big our bigger meets. And in club, it's the entire team. Mm-hmm. So, so and in college, our our team is sixty two people, and then so only sixteen go yeah to a conference. Well, so. that's sixty two S- men and women. Yes. Yeah, so there's sixteen guys and sixteen girls. Thirty two, including divers. So yeah. it's more it's more like fourteen guys and fifteen girls. Yeah. And then like the divers fill two two person a spot. No three. So three, three person one spot. Yeah. Three person a spot. So it's 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 tough when you yeah. get to college. It's not a not like a like a sport like football. We've got a lot of guys. We've probably got a hundred guys, but we travel about seventy. So yeah. we still take a lot of guys with us, and then pretty much almost everybody suits up at home. But as far as with swimming, this that's what a third of a third of the team. Yeah, mm-hmm. a- everyone travels. Meet. Everyone everyone, travel. everyone does travel, but like at conference, only a specific few would swim at night. So it's prelims and finals. So everyone swims in the morning. Right. But if you were to uh, if you get to finals, like you Advanced. can come back at the night and swim your event again, and only those sixteen would score. Yeah, we call it the scoring team. So like the mm-hmm. people on the scoring team, if they make it to finals, then they'll swim. But if you're not on the scoring team, then you can go to C final, which doesn't score any points, or you just don't go at all. Gotcha. So. Makes sense. Gotcha. So speaking of scoring and going to the being on the scoring team, uh, tell us a little bit about you guys' success here. At Washington, just very briefly touch on the accomplishments you've been able to make, how you've grown since you've been here as a swimmer. Yeah, I think uh, personally for me, not just obviously like swimming has gone very well. Like we've all we both dropped time. Um, I think we've been able to grow just mentally as well because I mean we're having to come from high school, which you're living with your parents. Now here we're living by ourselves, we're making our own schedule, going to the, like to class, going to practice. Like I think we learned a lot of different like just day-to-day skills um being on the team and just being an adult you know obviously like you know we we've dropped a ton of time yeah so being here and we're, we're happy for that but i think what's more important is the skills that we've learned being here um and kind of growing up you know gotcha yeah thank you very much so uh, another thing i would like to talk about you said it became a lifestyle and you said it's about the people that you met and this you've met some of your best friends here. Oh yeah. So tell us a little bit more about your Washita experience. It could be as a student, uh a part of student life on campus. Uh we've just had a recent event, Tiger Tunes. I don't know if you guys attended that or have in the past. But tell us a little bit about how student, the student part of being an athlete here at Washita. Yeah, no, it's definitely a plus because like I mean a lot of the teachers or professors like actually want to help you out. Like if you tell them you're an athlete, like like oh that's so cool like tell me more about it and like let me know if you need anything. Um, a lot of them want to like show up to our meets and like 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 do cheer us on. things like that and they they always ask us oh you had to meet how to go and yeah. stuff like that so they're always want to stay in the loop of like what you're doing because like mm-hmm. they care about like every athlete on this campus so I mean, they don't want to see anyone you know fail mm-hmm. I guess. and being a part of the team like we we go to a majority of like the school outings I guess um, because you know we want to represent the team. Um, but you know, we 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 have a happy medium because there's a point of recovery that we need to hit, yeah. right. and a point of like we need always we're always eating food, so a lot of our time is spent in the calf and the stew. But we 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 get around and we we have experienced a lot of things on this campus. Good, good. Okay, so out of all the things you experienced in your time here, you bought for seniors. Mm-hmm. What would you say has been your 
favorite memory since you've been there at Washington? This doesn't have to be sports related. It can be, but just like, what's your favorite memory since you've been there at Washington? Mm. I, you guys Does it have to be like, I mean, I can think of it, anything, anything. I mean, y'all don't know about this, but like, we go on a travel trip every oh, year yeah. to Destin, Florida o- over Christmas break because okay. we, we go home for Christmas break. So for, I do know about that. Yeah. I, I was an RA. For a oh, couple yeah. of years, and I had, oh, yeah, I, had yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the troop, the troops, the troops and I yeah, had, yeah, yeah. Uh, who else did I have? Uh, you uh, probably Christian. had Jax, Elijah, I had Jackson, Jax, excuse me, Jax, yeah, okay. and I had yeah, Elijah, I had Elijah yeah. yeah. So I know about that troop. Yeah, so we go every year uh, over Christmas break because we we only go home for what five, nine, five, six, no, seven no, days. No, no, it's eight or nine days. Yeah, we we get like eight or nine days of the whole entire uh, month that Christmas break is, and then we come back here the twenty seventh of December. We spend like two three days here then we go to florida yeah. for new year's and then that whole first week so like really just going on those trips yeah like, that that's where that's our where team our team really shines yeah that's where yeah. we kind of really grow you know closer to one another because we're in the, like we get three beach houses and we're all like you know we go we go to get our butts whooped but during that time like we go to the beach we're playing spike ball like we're having fun we're going out to dinner with each other um so that's really a time where we can really bond and you know we we already have a great team like our we already you know enjoy each other's company but like that's really where like this team comes together and we really learn who we are um, because it really is a week of just death like we just yeah. get absolutely <laughs> yeah like we, eight nine thousand yard practices and we practice over 20 hours a week yeah so, so four yeah. Hour, i mean four hours of swimming a day and, and in then between we, and then that we, we're at the beach so yeah. it's really like we're swimming 24 7 yeah it's you wake up six o'clock we eat go practice come back eat beach eat practice eat beach like, yeah just like the same yeah. thing over and over <laughs> yeah. and over but like so that's that, i would agree with alex that's that's probably what some of my favorite memories like we've i mean this is will be our fourth time going and i'm already talking about it like yeah. you can go to the pool and ask <laughs> anybody like i've already am i'm already talking about going to florida yep so well that's all right i yeah. mean eating in death you can't no, do I mean, nothing it, but grow. Yeah, it, it yeah, really you can't, is can't like, do nothing but grow from that you know but and that's that's, that's where I, my idea came from like you know, with my friends and like we're just my favorite memories like dying with my friends. Yeah, that that uh-huh. that that came to my mind. So a, a specific set we do, but you know that it's a fun training time though. So and coach like you kind of get to see your coach like he's having a good time too. We have a great re- relationship with him as well. Um, That's awesome. So he he makes it fun too, even though we're dying. You know, he still jokes around with us. Got you, man. Got you. Well, speaking about that, getting ready to go to Florida, uh, I know you guys are getting ready to actually get into the pool here pre- uh, pretty soon. Mm-hmm. I think this uh, this coming week, at the end of the week, you're getting in the pool. Probably, is it the first Friday. time? No. First time this year? It's our fourth meet. Fourth, fourth meet? Yeah. Okay, okay. Be a little behind on that, but okay. <laughs> good, good. When is the – now, you guys swim – all year round, don't you? Yeah. So when is the, like, is the season officially, this is like a... Yeah, it's already started. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It starts basically September 1st and it goes through March. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, so, speaking of that too, I heard that one of you is getting ready to transition to a different role. Uh, mm-hmm. No longer be in the pool yeah. as a competitor, but you'll be outside the pool cheering mm-hmm. the guys on in a different way. Would you like to tell us a little bit about that transition? Yeah. So I got injured about a year ago, I uh, tore my labrum and then recently tore my bicep. And I had both of those repaired up the summer, didn't go too well. So I stepped away from the sport about two weeks ago, actually. So now I've stepped into more of like a GA position. So I'm there on the deck and I'm still traveling to everything, um, coaching along with, you know, being there with the team. And, you know, it's it's been a transition, but it's been a way easier transition than just like, you know, cold turkey quitting. And like, I don't know what to do with myself because like, you know, I've been doing this for 15 years so it's basically a part of me but um I don't know it's it's been it's been relatively easy I I enjoy being there like my biggest thing was when I I had the conversation with coach was like you know I don't want to leave this team he doesn't want me to leave this team I feel like I have a lot I can give to this team still so it's just been you know figuring out where I fit fit into that coaching role and it's just been like a lot of fun so yeah well since you kind of already are starting to take strides in a different direction and no longer being in the pool. My next question will lead to this. What do you guys have planned for, after this is the last ride, senior year, what do you guys have planned for after you leave Washita? No, well, man, well, you know, depending on how the season goes and, uh, like, there ha- a lot of good stuff has to happen. You know, I, I could see myself swimming after college, um, but that would obviously, like, that would, it would have to kind of fall in my lap in a way. Um, other than that, you know, I mean, it. I mean, we're, I'm, we're both working with companies currently um, or have an opportunity lined up for after college. So 
not worried, you know, about what we were going to do. It's just, it's kind of... We're really trying to take in this last season yeah. and then worry about yeah. know, the whole job situation. But, like, we, we both have a good idea of what we want to do, just yeah. not 100%. Good, and yeah. that's okay. I'm the yeah. same way. No, yeah. I got a, a good idea of what I want to do, but you never know until you just step into yeah. that. So yeah, for exactly. real. Just focus on the now and worry about the later, later. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, so I have some that I want to ask you guys. What would you like to leave for younger teammates that you guys know now or future incoming Tiger Sharks that might join the program in following years to come? What would you want to leave those guys? Uh, for me, you know, I'm, you can ask anybody, I'm a firm believer, like you have, it has to, you have to make this fun. And if you don't make it fun, it's not, it's, you're going to get burnt out. And I've seen, you know, I've had friends, you know, come and go with being burnt out and quitting swim. Um, even people with that still on team now, um, you know, I'm, I want to, I always tell everybody like, Hey, like you're coming here to hurt. Yes, but it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Like you have to, like, we're going to be joking around and I'm going to be in your face and I'm going to make you laugh in the middle of a set when you don't want to laugh. But it has to, you're gonna have to have a good time, or you're not gonna be able to stick it through this entire you know season. So or even like the rest of your college career. Yeah, it was a so. it was a big change for like a lot of our freshmen. Like even for us, like when we first came here, it was a big switch from like your club style or high school training of swimming going to college. It's way more intense, a lot more hours. It's just a different mindset and different atmosphere that that you go into as a as a college athlete. So really, just helping them transition into that. Is our is our biggest biggest thing right now for them? Yeah, I want to I want the, our freshmen to feel like they can help the next freshman come through. Mm -hmm. So even though I'm a senior and they, you know, look up to us, I want I'd rather have the freshmen be comfortable speaking to our freshmen that being I guess being sophomores at that point. Right. Um, want them to be like, hey, like it's it's all right. Like you know, after a month or two, you know, you're living close quarters with all these people. You're not at home. It's gonna be different, but like it, you'll figure it out. Like it'll be fine. So. All right. Good. All right. Couple of last questions before I let you go. Favorite hobby that has nothing to do with swimming, <laughs> and do you have any hidden talents? Let's hit on the hobbies first, though. Hobbies: surfing, surfing, motorcycles, oh. motorcycles. We wake surf. Where in the uh, world are you surfing in Arkansas? Oh, well, you can't surf here, but yeah. um, <laughs> we like to camp and backpack. Mm -hmm. um, about it. <laughs> what only if it was more, I mean, oh, no. we like to work on cars. Yeah, we're so, oh, big yeah. car guy, big car family. Big handy people. Yeah, I like to get out physical activity people. Anything mm -hmm. water sport too. Like water we're sport. we're a big boat family too. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, any hidden talents? Can you sing? Can you draw? Can you write? Absolutely none. None. I'm a. Jack I can cook minute rice in 57 seconds. <laughs> no, that's impressive. That's a good one. <laughs> that's we'll have to get a Guinness World Record right there for that. That's all right. I didn't yeah. know you could do it in less than a minute. Yeah. Okay. I can swim pretty well. It's about it. You swim <laughs> well. I'm glad to hear that. But okay, man, this will wrap up the session. We thank Miles and Alice for coming on to the podcast today. This is Jeremiah Turner. This is it signing out. See you.